Hey folks, Boston Siete. All right, so uh, got a piece of horn stone here, relatively thin slab. It's uh, about three eighths, just a hair under. And we're gonna see if we can do something with it. It's got quite a bit of cortex on it. And we're gonna see if we can do something with it with indirect percussion. Pretty thin slab. For percussion work, in my opinion. But generally, 3 8 is not too thin for for me for indirect. There's plenty of guys out there that do this with a bopper, but uh, I'm not one of them. All we're doing right now is just removing cortex. That's it. That's all we're moving is this cortex. Trying to keep you in the middle of the frame here, close as I can. do this video in two parts uh, making the preform and then finishing the point thought I'd make a point uh, take a little break from the clunkers for a for a day and I still might shoot a clunker video today I wanted to have that piece of mukite in there for the giveaway, but uh, that mukite had some problems in it. Some fractures and stuff that I just couldn't get past. So, it's in my wife's rock tumbler, or will be soon. After we get this cortex off, then we'll measure what we got. We got I guess I could have measured the I guess we don't really need to measure the length. I don't know. We measured the thickness. That's probably good enough. I gotta run to Dallas tomorrow which I'm never thrilled about. <laughs> but uh, Dallas area anyway, as my wife's looking at a saddle and wants me to go with her. Cortex off. That took four minutes <laughs> to get all the cortex off. All the cortex is off, and we're zigzagged all the way around. next step after that is just putting a little bit of convexity into it.
and start. Uh, this is a number three flexi stick. It's probably the size I use the most. I have been using number four a lot here, which is the largest size. I could probably skim that off with a all the copper bopper, but I have somehow managed to lose all my gloves, every last bit of them, except for right-handed gloves. I got all kinds of right-handed gloves, but all my left-handed gloves have uh, disappeared. I have no idea what I did with them. Not sure what I'm gonna make out of this yet. I'll look through the Cape Man book and come to a decision, I guess. I just got another shipment of those books in today, actually. If anybody needs one. Street Indian Arrowhead book price guide book. All right, come on now. I'm really having to lay into it to get the flakes to travel. Now take this. You can see that right there, which that platform is probably too stout now. But by hitting that with the abrader here and there, that kind of isolates that a little bit and it's got a little ridge running in right there. Let me abrade it so you can see the ridge. See a little ridge running in right there? Almost ran as far as it needed it to. That's what you're looking for when you're looking for platforms. You're looking for these low spots and ridges running in. And you can either hit those opportunistically like I am now with very little setup or you can go through all the effort you want to set them up
I still have some remaining solid surface on here. On both sides. One more spot right there. We run a flute and flake more or less right at the bottom right here. She gone. Just like that. Okay. Now we gotta attack this side because that side's clean. We gotta attack this side. Almost, almost, but not quite. It's kind of a bad place for that to be. It's always a bad place when it's in the center, right? Let's see, there ain't much of a platform, but all of it but that one little piece. How am I going to get that out of there? gonna get that off there. come in from this side over here. <coughs> Isolate that little platform just a little bit. Try and get in there to that. <coughs> Dress up the tool tip a little bit. This is an important strike so Right in there and stopped. Okay.
pretty big ugly on that side. Pretty sizable ugly. Part of it off. I'm gonna try and straighten this up with some pressure. I've, I've made a mess on the side. We'll get it. Get her regularized and see what we can do with it. And certainly, we can get that side cleaner than that, right? Got it thinner than it, than it wants to be, I think. Yeah, that side is ugly, buddy. Get a flake to come in right there, that'll clean a bunch of that off. It's not 100% sure that I can. It's a little tougher than I thought it was going to be. 
stone. Alright, that cleaned off a whole bunch of it. All this down there got cleaned off with that one strike. off a bunch of that junk. You guys thought I was going to leave that on there, didn't you? You're like, oh, he's just going to leave that. Be a negative Ghost Rider. It's still not as clean as the other side, but... It's at least something that I could probably live with if I had to. But we ain't done yet. So. We'll see. Pretty tough for a little hand flaker. It's pretty damn tough for rock. There we go, we pop that hinge off there. I'm getting I've been getting spoiled on that uh Navaculite and heat treated buffalo and all this easy chip and stone the pearl yoder coral I really like that pearl yoder coral they got some great coral they really do um, one thing is you got to be careful with it because it chips so easy but uh, I'm not complaining about that I just have to remind myself to slow down and take it easier because it does chip so easy I got some fun projects I got planned. I don't know when I'll be able to get to them, but they'll be fun videos to watch. I think. A um, couple of them ain't never been done before, which is hard to do in a flint napping video these days, especially since Crafty's got, uh, you know, whatever, 2,000 videos or something like that. He's made every point I think is out there, but he hasn't made these. So. 
Congress, he could probably make them twice as good as me, but I'm still gonna make them. One of them is an effigy point. Actually, two of them are. One of them is an effigy, a copy of an effigy point. And, uh, or as close as I can get it. And then the other one, just one that I want to do. So, well, we got a preform. Um, relatively straight. So I'm going to cut this one here. And then, uh, and then we're going to go on to, uh, We'll finish this. I'll figure out what I want to do with it, and we'll finish it. So, all right. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all uh, stay tuned for for part two. They'll probably release on the same day, but they'll just be broke up. It's easier to upload. I appreciate y'all watching. I really do. And all you guys that are support supporting me, supporting the channel, and supporting the website and all that stuff, man, I really truly appreciate y'all. And y'all keep napping. We'll catch you on the next one.